great. Let's go live. Hello everyone. Now is it working? <laughs> Sorry for the delay everyone. Uh, no. I uh, thought I was live and let me just meet myself. Okay, now I think everything is working, right? Yeah, we start the live soon. Right, so you didn't miss much. Uh, yeah. Oh, apart from adding these reference images. That's not something, that's not a big deal. All right. That was a waste of time. Well, not really, actually. Um, the first few minutes are going to be boring, so... Let's just add... Whoa. So this is a little bit far away. Let me just take it closer. And... Uh, yeah. Let's make it a smaller skin the x-axis. So basically, I uh, made this... Uh, cube here and scaled it uh, made it 32 centimeters because my shoe size uh, what I wear is 70 uh, whoa, 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 where am I going 27 centimeters and um, I said well let's add a few centimeters here and do one centimeter here so it's gonna approximately be 32. And the rest is just, uh, uh, you know, guess. Okay, just to know approximately the size of the shoe. So let's make this, uh, let's display this as a wire. I would love to do bounds, but uh, I can't use snapping. I don't think we need snapping anyway, so let's keep it bound. I'm going to save this, well you can see the save window, but I'm just saving this in a reasonable uh, location. Um, where is it? 3D models, whoop, 3D models, and here, Adidas, uh, Where is it? Can't see the file. There you go. And let's name this Adidas. And the name of the shoe is Cap Tier. Very slow. That's fine. All right. Save Blender file. So now we have this. This will be the dimension. And let's just keep it with the reference here. And let's uh, go right here and make it unselectable. Uh, actually, let's enable this so we can make it unselectable. Well, the reference image as well. Uh, here in the other 3D viewport, I'm just gonna throw some reference images here. I would love to use. Um, What's the name of the uh, software? It's called Pure Ref, but uh, I don't know. Just uh, don't wanna worry about how I'm going to um, to say it. How I'm going to uh, record that part because I'm just recording the Blender window. Let's find something. Other images, and this is basically another um, pure rough window. Let's, see, let's assume that's what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna add a few more reference images. Actually, I'm just gonna add all of them so I can know exactly what I'm doing. All right, most of them are 
Yep. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think only one is missing. Can't really. Oh, this one. Also, have other colors because uh, the reference. Uh, I don't know, with different colors you can see more details. This white color really worked well, so I can see exactly how... Uh, I can see more details, basically. Alright, so I'm just gonna save this again, and let's see. Alright, so let's plan how we are gonna model this. I was gonna start with very basic shape. The basic shape would be either a cube or a plane. So let's see. Of this shoe, we have this part separate. Actually, we have many small separate parts, but the main parts uh, are. Actually, I should say one main part is this. And then we have this part uh, that comes inside, which probably should be separate. I mean, even though they are welded here. Uh, not really. Uh, not welded. Uh, sewed together, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so... Actually, let's remove... Uh, let's remove... Rather, move them in the reference here. Let's... Close it. And yeah, so can select it. Good. Let's work on our collection here. And um, I'm just going to draw and see how the topology should work. Um, let's see another view of this shoe. So yeah, it's just a basic shape. So the way I would model is just add a plane and then extrude or even add a dot. Here, yeah, just extrude, extrude, extrude. We'll obviously follow the lines correctly like so and probably extrude these down now I have faces and try to maybe select all of these faces so now we can have topology like this then try to correct the, this from the top view probably add another reference image here so I can when I move up like so I can see the shoe from the top yeah probably that won't be helpful let's drag and drop this scale it down rotate 90 degrees scale this again and yeah now at least we can change this so let's scale this in the x-axis and is this part of the shoe yeah okay scale again in the x and let's just move this up or should I say to the left right anyways um, I think we're good Interesting. Flow is this way. Anyways, now we can at least understand or follow the reference uh, better. So obviously, I will then uh, have all these uh, vertices moved this way, so it matches. Yeah, this is basically how uh, we are gonna model this. So let me just uh, erase everything. Not everything the sketch or the lines good um, save All right. <clears throat> excuse me just gonna put this empty again here unselectable good let's add a plane I'll scale it down mm. I think I'm just gonna start with a let me just merge all of these at the center and okay just gonna 
probably do the button. So I'm just gonna start here, extrude, make it as simple as possible. And Hi Chateau. Hi motorcycle. How are you guys doing? I hope you will enjoy this uh, live stream. Uh, let me know where you guys from. I'm pretty sure motorcycle. Uh, you're from uh, Russia or Ukraine, right? And Chateau, I think, from France or uh, probably North Africa. Let me know, guys. Alright, so I'm just gonna extrude these uh, vertices. And, um, yeah, I think we're done. I'm just press, move them this way. And let's uh, select all of them and extrude one more time. And now, here in the top view, I think we used a little bit too much uh, geometry. Yeah, so I'm just remove. So now I can match, try and match the reference image a little bit. Let's use the symmetry or mirror. And let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna add a. Subdivision modifier. Actually, let's add two segments. Shade smooth. And let's see. All right. Let's get. Oopsie. Sorry about that, okay. Chateau, I'm actually from the Netherlands. Oh, am I pronouncing your name correctly? <laughs> Netherlands, that's interesting. Well, nice to meet you and welcome to the live stream. Well, in French, uh, or in, should I say France, uh, Chateau means a castle, I guess. Does it mean the same in the Netherlands, or is it a a known name there? All right. So let's add another segment. Let's add another loop here, and uh, just move them. Alright, so I think this should be enough, shouldn't be very, shouldn't really worry about the details because it's not really accurate, the reference, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine this way. Alright, probably add or just extrude, like so. And just press two, shift E, like so. Now I'm just gonna extrude these upwards. Oops, forgot one. Let's extrude like so, and try to move these down. Actually, these should be should be only the white part and the yeah the orange like so move this like so just rotate this and move these this way xd why you know shoe fast enough you mean why i'm not modeling it fast enough uh, if i understood correctly that's a nice looking shoe yeah i agree so very expensive as well <laughs> 
can find it in the store Adidas. All right, so I'm not really sure where to go now. Just gonna select these faces. Move the edge crease. And probably... Probably extrude one more time, but without these. Let's go extrude like so. And try to align the vertices correctly. Like so. And yeah, I should probably let's move this. Hmm. Like so. These vertices, minus one. Set here one once. Delete the faces. Probably I'm rushing a little bit. Let me try to understand the polish a little bit more. Hmm. I think the topology should work fine. Um, let's move these. So right now we're just trying to get the basic form. And then we go to more detail. Let's see. Yeah, oh, should move this a little bit in the front like so. Probably rotate. Like so. We'll check the chat. XD said "Well, I print 3D shoes. Don't need money. No, I don't uh, use 3D printing. Actually, uh, model uh, uh, what we call um, models for AR and VR. And uh, yeah. That's what I do for a living now, but hopefully uh, get more advanced. I really wish to work for com commercial things and yeah, probably more enjoyable. All right, so I think at this point, uh, I'm just gonna move these vertices in inwards in a bit and see the reference image, try to understand the shape more. So I do think this could move inside a little bit, like so. Yep, I'll fix the topology here later. For now, looks good. Let's try to add creases here.
now so I'm trying to understand how this this one works so whether it, it is like so goes a little bit more inside and here I do think it comes very and it's not really uh, so going like mine is going upwards and then rotates so probably move this down like so and inwards they yeah, also yep, like so okay I'm just gonna change the normals here quality probably works good not really a big deal it's the auto smooth I'd like to enable it oops okay so let me just see another image here oh I don't have where is it yeah, this one. Mm. XD says, if you print AR, then you have a tracking reference or survey solve in 3D tracking. What's 3D tracking? I don't know what that is. Okay. If you can explain more, be helpful. And I'll smooth this down. Like so. All right. So I think I should just apply the, uh, but before I do so, I either duplicate this and move it in another collection and just call it B1 for backup. And I don't want to see it. Or I actually also add, have an add-on. If I press X and then S, I, was it stack or stash? Stash it. <laughs> so I have a backup as well, or use it for other things. So let me just apply, and now we have more ge geometry to work with. Let's see. Now let's just try to get this as close as possible. So here we have... I think we're good here. Probably... Uh, yeah, probably here in the front we do have a... Here in the front we have this part coming out a little bit, but that's we'll deal with it later. Okay, let me just remove not remove. Why do I say always remove? Let's move it these vertices in the front. Let's go apply another subdivision. And just gonna move these up. Oh actually let's keep them. I'll move it That's just a little bit. I'm just going to use the uh, proportional editing. It's very useful. Like so. Perfect. And looks very, I don't know, doesn't really look realistic from the back. Probably really forgot about it. So let's make it, yeah, let's put these vertices inside like so. Probably disable the proportional editing. And 
Sí, voy a tres botellas. Eso. Ok, I think I should use proposal editing here. And... Hmm. Let's check, check the chat. XD says, so if you can't track features, of a plate and you know the exact dimensions of how features uh, relate in 3D space to each other you get a kick ASS solve <laughs> yeah I agree you especially I mean if, if you owned the shoe then that would be even better you can know exactly how to model it Just inset here, scale this, well, not using proportion editing. And let's just extrude this inwards. And I'll just leave it like this for now. And probably remove crease this is from this area. And probably start worry about the front part. Okay, so let's see from the top view. highlight ones that I'm gonna work with yeah so what can we do here and let's just cut it let's have a better look here so we do have a weird shape, but let's not worry about that shape for now. I'm just gonna do the basics first. Basics are uh, selecting these faces and deleting them. <laughs> Probably should delete these. And you know what? Let's just delete the, this face as well. these faces all right so I'm gonna worry about the rest for now now we can move these vertices around try and get something close it's hard to see the reference image so let's just what if we use yeah this should work even better Okay. Like so. Like so. Perfect. All right. So I'm just gonna use another shade. So matte cap. And let's use um, where are my matte caps? Yeah, let's use this. I feel like it's flipped. Let's see. Yeah, the whole thing is flipped. I'm just press Shift N. Just clicking everything. There you go. And delete these faces and yeah one thing I do want to do is separate this part from the bottom or should we keep it yeah let's just separate this press V L P so now this is a separate piece Okay, let's work this piece here. XD 
Camera solving man, try the camera solving tab. What's that? I don't know what that is. Camera solving. You're talking about this, right? This is a technique to model. These are fine. Yeah. I'm curious how this looks. Okay, how does this look from the side? Uh, I'll see. I mean, I mean from the front. Isn't there a reference? In this one? I'll see this one. So this piece has some curve going on here. And... Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Very interesting. Come on. All right. So the best thing I can do here Let's fill this like so. I'll probably offset this a little bit. There you go. Looks perfect. Not really. <laughs> uh, that's as perfect as it can look. I'm just gonna insert this for now. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like so. Now can work on this and goes a little bit inside as this bumpy effect still don't know from how it looks from behind so probably just gonna move these vertices inside a little or maybe move these outside So um, this inside so it looks a little bit more organic we have this effect here let's try and move this like so perfect xd says camera solving we said nope camera solving making 3d camera from plate well, this is the first time I hear this thing. Probably you can, if you can share a link um, of an example, probably that would be nice. It's probably hard to explain it. Uh, okay. Maybe it's something I don't uh, specialize in. <laughs> Let's clean the topology here a little bit. Well, that's not clean, is it? Mm, you know, skip the old topology. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm good with this. Yeah. 
it's very important to make sure you got the basic shape otherwise you will end up <laughs> you'll end up tweaking uh, the whole shoe with the proportional editing uh, that's not what I'm that's really not something I like to do um, in the chat we have Anorak Blow I hope I pronounced that correctly nice one I have been f uh, footwear designer at uh, Adidas for nine years by the way whoa that's interesting Wow. Welcome to the live stream, uh, Anorak. All right, let's see. Do you de uh, de design the shoes? Like, uh, like, do you have some? Um, designs that I can make, <laughs> probably make them as 3D, that would be nice, I'd love to know. Yeah. Alright, so I'll probably make this part inside since it's a big part and very important to have it. So I'm just gonna shift D copy these faces I'll probably disable proportional editing rotate and let's see how we can follow these uh, extrude I'm just gonna follow the shape of this try to get it as close as possible I'm just extrude and, oh, let's make it a separate piece. Okay, I assume these should go the same way. So, let me just extrude the rest. Like so. And move it this way. Like so. Anorak says, uh, I did this, uh, I did the latest. Predator and um, and uh, Nemes Nemesis uh, soccer shoes. That's interesting. I'm definitely gonna check them out. Very interesting. Definitely gonna try and uh, model one of those as well. That would be very interesting. Do you use a uh, 3D software as well, uh, Anorak? Like, do they use, uh, or is it just sketching and um, um, yeah? I'm pretty sure you use 3D software as well. And designing the shoe, of course. So let's add another loop. I don't know why I don't have one here. And let's move this down. The chat, thanks for sharing your process. You're absolutely welcome. Um, I basically want to do a daily live stream. 
so I can, you know, practice and learn myself and also share with other people as well with with pleasure. And I hope you enjoy the process as well. All right, so let's try and move these down. Hmm. Yeah, I should move them down a little bit. So I don't like how this comes out. It's gonna. By the way, I forgot to add the uh, shortcut viewer. So let's deal with it. I'll keep it black. And uh, I want to keep it in the center. So there you go. Now you can see all the hot keys I'm using. And yeah. Yes. This way, like so. so. Yeah, that that should look as the reference. Yeah, it's it's, it's a little bit flat. The, oh yeah, there you go. This one. No, that's not the one. Or is it? Yeah. Anorak, the industry is quite old in way of uh, designing, so we have to uh, we have the product designers and style stylists, and then 3D modelers like the car industry. Interesting. Yeah. So everyone is uh, everyone is specialized in uh, particular work. So not uh, you don't have to do all the work yourself. Yeah, interesting. Thanks for letting us know. Seems like a very enjoyable uh, uh, career or uh, enjoyable um, work to do. Pretty sure it is. Right. So we um, think we got the basic shapes, um, but I don't like the topology here. So let me just let the topology flow this way, like so. And should we worry about it? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a mess here. Let's try and connect this. So. Uh, connect these. Move this and. Okay. I don't think I should worry about this triangle. Mm, or should I? Yeah, let's not worry about that. All right. And yeah, this looks very rectangular. Don't like how this looks from behind. So let's make it a little bit circular. Yeah, definitely. Not the way it should be. Select these. And the inside. And this as well. And this should fix the shape. Use proximity as well.
Let's check the chat. I was um, I was the product designer, so mostly uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, and uh, learned Blender recently, and absolutely loved it. So I quit quite uh, to, to oh quit to do art for full time. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. So do, do you like? uh what we call motion graphics 3d motion graphics that's uh, that's where i want to you know put my time and effort i think it's uh, it's a really enjoyable thing to do motion graphics also interested in um um like well, basically, it's the same motion graphics, but doing it for websites, like interactive 3D things with the websites, which is a recent uh, um, trend. Yeah, a recent trend. John Amukwaya. Hi, welcome, John. Welcome to the stream. Done. Damn, uh, I'm late. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you didn't miss much. Well, just here in the basic shapes. So let's give this some thickness, I suppose. Uh, let's move these. This is this way. Let's add solidify modifier. Seems to be very sharp here. Uh, okay, let's move things this way a little bit. It's kind of... The vertices are a bit close to each other, which is not a good thing. Unless you don't have sharp... Or creases. Okay. I think that should work. Holy. Let's move this up. There you go. Yeah, it looks more like a shoe. <laughs> okay. Okay, that that will that should work fine. Perfect. All right. Let's move this up. That this way. And... Okay, what can we do? I hate when I get lost modeling, so don't 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 know where or what to start to do. So whenever I get stuck, don't know what part I should model, I just start anything, just add anything. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So it's always it's always good to try and move on. And not get stuck, like, rethinking whether you should do this or that. That's a good thing to, uh, to learn and, you know. So here I'm quite stuck. So I do think I uh, should fix the topology, make it go the way I want it to. So what I will do is just, just going to select these faces here. I don't like the matte cap. Yeah, this one looks way better. 
Okay. I was gonna inset, or actually before I inset. I mean one here. Just press I to inset. And perfect. Make sure I have the edges selected. Or oh, actually these. I was going to deselect these one that I want to keep. Um, yeah, only the ones in the top. There you go. I'm just going to dissolve the rest. Let's see how this looks. Interesting. Hmm. This looks horrible. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, this should look better. Okay, probably a bit too much. <laughs> so, let's try and move this a little bit down. I mean, with it's inside. Like so. Hmm. That should be fine. Here we have this bumpy part. Um, it's, uh, I think it's uh, on both sides, probably. So let's see. We have one here. Is it also inside? Probably here. Yeah, so this is the inside part, right? Yeah, so it has this shape here. Very interesting. Let's try and get that shape. Hmm. Should I fix the topology? Hmm. Make it fall over here. Hmm. So we need a cut. So probably add that later. And. Should I start model this part? Kind of bored on this one. Let's see. Let's give it more space. Yeah. So. Alright, these are too close, not sure why. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just one of these together. Make some space. Alright, so how can we achieve this topology? How can we achieve that? Lose. Damn it. Uh, let me check the chat. I'm mostly interested in movie making or digital fashion. Yeah, art and digital fashion. They're really interesting. That's also a good, good uh, subject and 
very interesting place to be in. John, um, the the souls look like uh, uh, they will take up a lot of the time. Uh, the souls. What exactly is souls? <laughs> uh, not really good in uh, naming uh, thoughts. Let me just go and translate that. How about that? So it's. Uh, you said the soul. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So like the the bottom of the uh, the shoe definitely gonna take uh, a lot of time not sure whether I'm gonna use you speak uh, you're referring to this or just the side because this is a a mass this is gonna take probably double the time yeah I'm not sure whether I should mold this of course I should this is what it's all about. Practice and learn. So let's just focus on the other parts. Should I probably make these? They look uh, fun to make. And then project them later. Alright. John. The ender part of the shoe, yeah. So, yeah, definitely a weird topology there. Um, well, obviously, these uh, I'm just gonna add the texture because uh, you do have some small details. Definitely not gonna model this, but you have these cuts, they are visible. We'll see. We'll give it time. Let's just first finish the shoot the most the, the most important part or parts okay it's very flat uh, if I see from that angle it's gonna try and uh, get go inside a little bit it's probably that uh, Should look better. Let's move these out. Like so it looks really sharp from the front. Right. These together using the uh, proportional editing. Very interesting. Uh, it is sharp. Okay, just gonna move these parts. To probably. Like so. Not sure about the rest. Oh, yeah, pretty sure this should come out a little bit. And also these. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. What would happen if I give this some thickness? So let's add solidify. But this uh, the solidify should be before. There you go. I like this. Mm -hmm. Interesting.
I don't think we could on this side. So probably from this direction as well. Okay. Just press double G. Um here the same double G. Right, perfect. All right. Looks good. Just gonna lower the thickness here. Is that? There you go. Just at the moment. And... All right. So I think uh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> so I think I just should mod these because uh, they will take some time. Um, hmm. Quite interesting. So let's make them. Just project them later. All right. Add a plane. Scale it down. It might be degrees. Rotate another eighty. All right. Okay. So this. I was basically going to use a, a ray modifier. So this is one gonna duplicate them do we have another close look of this part yeah there you go this one's close enough well interesting so move the support uh, away okay so basically just trying to get this here very interesting shape. Uh, okay. All right. So what should we do? It's gonna insert here once, and one here. In here, whoops, uh, and it's gonna inset or else yeah, inset this first and then inset this one. It's gonna extrude this one inside, uh, let's extrude this outside. Let's see how this looks. Shade smooth. Another loop here and another loop. Oh, another spot loop here. Hmm. Looks a little bit too sharp for me, but very close to what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna dissolve these and probably. Of this as well and yeah that looks uh, closer so add another support loop here uh, basically that should work all right um, it looks a little bit sharp here but um, how can we deal with it Move this out. 
I'm just gonna insert one more time. And this should go inside. There you go, now it's a little bit sharper. Yeah, that should work. I don't think anyone should care about that. This level of detail. <laughs> so, this should definitely be enough. Uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Probably I need it later. And let's share this. Should I, yeah, there you go. That's gonna work. Uh, partially. Mm. Kind of made it. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look... Hmm, let's give it another try. Let's do it this way. And I think I should adjust these vertices. So they match the reference more. Like so... Uh, that will do. Let's add a ray modifier. And this should be above the sub subdivision. Add. What is this? Uh, probably supply rotation. And this should go here, this direction instead. And probably should, shouldn't use the relative one. Let's just use distance. Yeah. Okay. Definitely want to merge. And also... That we don't have. It's not a circular array. So we'll be fine. It's gonna... Alright. Let's get it as close as possible. And... Yeah, there you go. Now we have a small issue, which is uh, these vertices should match the other, like so. So I'm just gonna. Put that. So there you go. Now we these are welded correctly. Okay, this should work. Let's add more. And right. sorry about that. Okay, I think we are good to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now how about counted it correctly so <laughs> found 16 so let's do it this way scale this in the z axis okay okay so i was going to duplicate both these and Move them in the backup. Also, let's move this one as well. X, X, uh, XS. Let's move this as a stash and spy array. And. Okay, before playing array, I do think we could improve this one here. Yeah, that should look better. And with this, there you go. Now let's 
you know, I'll take it. Supply array, and was it 16? A 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. Should have had more, just in case. Yeah, it's interesting. I do think we could stretch this out a little bit. So we can make it a little bit taller. Okay, now it looks taller like this. Or oh, somewhat close. All right. So let's see whether we have all the. I just hold it. So put this down. So perfect. Again, doesn't it, uh, doesn't really need to be accurate and uh, should work fine. Just checking whether all these uh, vertices are welded together correctly. They seem to be welded correctly. Let's apply array. I'm just gonna select all these. Try to extrude them. Alright, so let's uh, press E to extrude. Let's just scale it this way. Okay. Just gonna move this edge. Do we have uh, something odd here? Extra hmm. faces. Hopefully you don't have any issue here. Uh, I don't flip normals. Okay. There you go. Wait a second. Okay, I made a mistake. Uh, okay. Okay, let's extrude, press E to extrude, and let's scale. And scale the Z axis as well. But then we have this issue here. So let's try and rotate this. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's use um, shear. There you go. Let's use shear here as well. There you go. I hope you guys are not bored in the chat uh, who are currently watching, I mean. So, yeah, I think it's getting a little bit boring. I hate when this happens. So, what should we do here? Okay. Let's add one segment here and another one here. I think we should fill this. G. Oh. Basically, grid fill. This should work perfectly, I think. Yeah. Did. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure these are straight lines here. 
but make sure it's also I'm using the G stretch in the loop tools this will make these flat all right <clears throat> but before I accept I want to make sure they are not evenly spread so they keep the uh, the exact location uh, I'm just gonna do the same with this Oh come on! What is this? They do it very well. Let's pick this music. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, let's carry on. Just gonna do this and this. If you guys have any question let me know in the chat i would love to help you out if you have any questions or if you guys have any suggestion suggestion as well what to start <laughs> anyways let's see how this looks with the subdivision turned on yeah that's very close to what we have I'm kind of annoyed with this part here. Ah, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Just gonna try and move. Let's see. Like this here. But well, before I do so, yeah, let's. Yeah, sorry, this one. There you go. Have to try to move it. Hmm. Probably um Hmm. Sorry, uh, probably move this. Um, hmm. Very odd. We could just. Oh yeah, this is also odd. Should have noticed it. I was gonna try and press double G, sub, double G again. There you go, now it's a little bit more stretched correctly. And this one. Come on, don't crash, please. We can do it. No. Oh, I think the blender just crashed. Let's give it some time. I think I didn't even save. One. Or is it just a bug? Yeah, there you go. Just a small bug. All right, thankfully, let's just save. And if I press double G. Hmm. Okay, probably add this. So, mm, still have this weird effect. I don't like this. Okay. Uh, it's probably because we have these vertices a little bit close to the edge. Mm. 
I don't think we should worry about this. Yeah, let's just ignore that for a moment. I think it's just fine. Alright, I'm just gonna go with it. And let's disable this. Just gonna rotate and scale this down. Mm, that's fine. And this here, shift D, this here. So how should we project them in the shoe? Well, that, so that's something we're just gonna figure out later. It's gonna leave them here. Because I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep it this way. Probably gonna tweak it later on. So let's keep it there. Give this topology here that will change uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things uh, so let's see here it starts from this place and, yeah let's use the cutter should we really use the cutter I think we just move the vertices. So, maybe. Now we should be able to. Yeah. be able to work with these. I'm just going to move them a little closer. Okay. Now let's just select these faces here. It's going to weld, make sure these faces are welded. And okay, let's get a close look. All right, so probably we should move this up. Not to make this part, but just to get the bumpy effect, I think. Where is it? Okay. So now I'm just gonna either delete this and then add it later. Let's see, oh, this looks fine. Alright, so I'm just gonna select all of this and what about the other side? Is it similar? Yes. I think it should be similar. Right? Yep. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. All right, so with these selected, I'm just gonna try and insert once. Press I or how about? Yeah, I'm just gonna insert. Press E, and then press P. Is it P or is it B? Ah, oh, there you go. It's B. I'm just gonna insert this way. Now we have the. I have these faces, so I can just move them outside, like we have it here. Alt S. There you go. Let's see how this looks uh, while keeping the modifiers. Okay, there you go. Or oh, something close to what I was imagining. We are not really that much, is it? There you go. Right. Okay. 
perfect. Uh, what's next? All right, so looking at the shoe from this point of view, and I do think we should um, yeah, let's let's bring this part out a little bit. Let's use proportional editing. Uh, are we using it? Okay. There you go. It's a lot better. So. Alright, I was just gonna give it more room. Obviously this is very flexible. I mean, it could be any way. Could be closer. Or, or I was just gonna, you know, try and keep it simple. So yeah, it is bumpy. Yeah, very bumpy. Hmm. Alright, so keeping it this way. What does it look from behind? Yeah. Interesting. So, what should we do next? Let's do this part here. Uh, select all these faces. And I'm just gonna duplicate. Shift D. P to separate. And let's see. Uh, I don't need to solidify, I'm just gonna try my best. Oh, no, not this way. Like so. Okay, so basically we're making the orange piece here. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Hopefully. Do I need the proportional editing? Come on. Uh, go. Are we editing both? No, we aren't. Okay, so this part as well. There you go. I'm just gonna move these down here. And. Okay. It's not really accurate, but we will. Fix it. Can we snap? Can't believe I didn't use snapping till now. So let's try and snap to some of these bits that we have here. Good. All right. So let's isolate this. Is it laggy? All right. Uh, now let's. I'm just gonna dissolve this one. I just don't really need this. So dissolve. Come on, what's the angle? There you go. Let's move these vertices. Yeah, again, not really satisfied with the uh, apology. <laughs> okay. I mean, with the uh, position of the edges that were. Talking about this part here. Oopsie. Hmm, really odd. Uh, especially from this. I mean, actually, in this view, it looks good. Hmm, keep it. That looks fine. So, so the trick is uh, now I have the topology that I'm looking for is which means I can I do have a 
um, quad here. So basically I can insert a loop here. And another one here to keep the parts sharper. Oh, you solidify as well. But very less. Let's go to the positive direction and use 0 0.05 for now. Um, 0 0.08. There you go. That's oh, gonna work for now. We do have uh, stitches and we have some. Um, what do we call this? Uh, I do have the name. It's in my brain, but I just lost it. Yeah, lost it. Um, yeah. Geometry going inside. <laughs> so we need more geometry. And to add more geometry, we obviously need to apply the uh, subdivision. That's uh, something we'll do later. All right. How long have I been streaming? No idea. Let me just check for a moment. One hour and a half. That's good. We'll probably add another 20 minutes. Again, uh, any question, uh, please leave them in the chat. I definitely want to know what you guys think. Any comment. Uh, definitely appreciate that. And all the models I make, you'll find them again on angonx.com. I know my website uh, really sucks, honestly. <laughs> doesn't look uh, cool. But you can get uh, my models for free there. Anything I make. already made three models. Streamed only one, which is the football table. So go ahead and check it uh, or download it, use it for free. Of course, commercial or non-commercial doesn't really matter this moment um, I have this part hanging here so let's make it instead of waiting for nothing uh, duplicate the whole thing just gonna apply uh, two things here all right isolate this basically just need yeah that's all I need gonna control I to invert the selection, delete all the faces, and now we can press Alt S to move the faces to the normal direction. Also hold Alt to keep it even. It's good. Um, but before I do so, just want to make sure that the size of this thing is accurate. Okay. I'll take it. So I was gonna select only these Alt, uh, Alt S. So deselect Alt S again and deselect Alt S again. Alright, looks good. One thing to thing I noticed is it's a little bit Actually, it goes all the way down. Let me just check the reference real quick. Yeah, uh, I think this is also a part of it. So, just here we have stitches holding it and uh, other two stitches holding it. No idea what's inside or on the bottom of this piece, but let's focus on what we can see. So definitely gonna extrude these vertices a bit more. And this should be the place. So just to have a good uh, visualization or yeah, a good visual look. Actually, let's move this. Not really symmetrical. Like so. And this. Perfect. I was gonna add subdivision modifier again. 
probably keep it sharp in the corners. As I add a solidify modifier real quick. Should go in the positive direction. One. And it shouldn't really be that thick. Uh, I prefer it to be this thick. That's good. Um, this is really flat, isn't it? Here, shouldn't be. Yeah. I think that's fine. That's okay. All right. I think how about making this piece here. Do I have a seam here? I was going to ignore it for now. And so we do have a line coming all the way. Up. All right, so Let's try it. All right, so I'm just going to move everything here. Doesn't look really realistic. I'm just going to use proportional editing. Let's move the whole. See? Down with this part. Or maybe we should just move this outside, like so. Yeah, that will work as well. That should work as well. Alright. Cool. I'm <clears throat> just gonna do this instead and because it's gonna be should be very sharp here all right I'm just gonna change the thickness 0 0.12 okay this looks good All right, let's move these vertices up. So that's the weird shape. All right, so the sharpness starts from here. Yeah, from this part. Okay, so definitely need more, more geometry. Let's just duplicate and just gonna move it. Let's um, move it in the backup. Now let's apply one more time. I have more geometry to work with. Obviously, as you can see, the uh, yeah, it's not really on the ground, which is a shame. <laughs> it should be on the ground. Um, here, this black line is where the shoe should be. Okay. Shh, but that's let's worry about that later. I think. Yeah, I think probably adding the the other parts should fix it. Now let's worry about this. Actually, let's move this. Should be okay. I'm just gonna add another reference image real quick. Where is it? Yeah, this one. The shoe from the butt. This one. This should help us know exactly 
where to draw or move the vertices y axis 180 degrees just to flip it and a bit this way mm -hmm. interesting so basically it's it's very different um yeah i think i could could follow it here yeah should be very very i don't know the reference images are, aren't really accurate so i'm just gonna guess all right so let's select these and try to side Okay. Or probably with like this. Just gonna press Shift H to hide the rest and try to use proportional editing. This should uh, prevent us from or keep the work. Uh, keep the geometry smoother so let's scale let's enable it's gonna scale and use this Let's scale again okay, there you go Or Alt S should work as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this worked. And I'm just gonna give it so. Okay. As for this part. Um, here it's not as from the back wait a moment looks really un unsimilar uh, so it's only bumpy from the this side so let's try and do this these like these Double G and then double, double G again. And here, let's press double G, E, and then F just to move it up. And here as well. Let's try to do the same E. So basically, what I'm trying to do is to keep distance even as much as possible cool any other parts to deal with that's fine Uh, another subdivision modifier and uh, shouldn't really use creases yeah it's good to keep it smooth and this looks awesome okay so from what i can see is this smooth here but then suddenly it it is sharp from this side so should i use creases then um, let's see. Uh, okay. So I do think we should... Okay. Uh, 
Okay, give me a moment. Alright, so I'm just gonna hide uh, or hide these. Like so, I'm just gonna press Alt S. Okay, this should work. So basically move them up outside a little bit. Let's unhide. So this is... Oops. Okay. Let's give it a more like so. Okay, there you go. Um, let's add another edge loop here. Okay, I'm just gonna press double G down, hold alt, so I can move it up like so. Oh no, that didn't work. Press G and okay now press G like so. Okay, great. Okay, so now these edges should stay sharp here from behind until here, basically, where we have this. Can't be that accurate, so I'm just going to select where I can. Okay. Shift E and add a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see. Get. Let's shift E again make it even sharper oh actually we should use uh, crease but then control I I'm just gonna remove the rest let's move the other creases okay let's focus on this one shift G and select same crease there you go now we have the same thing selected shift E Okay, try to make it sharp as possible. As sharp as possible. There you go now, so we have this part sharp and this smooth. Almost. We'll tweak it later when we have a bit more geometry to play with. But for now we'll keep it like so. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Uh, okay. And then we have this crease here. We'll add that later, hopefully. We want to keep the bottom part sharp. So let's give it crease. Okay, so press 2. There you go, now I have these selected. Shift E and give it crease. Right, that should work. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, I think this should be enough for today. Really, really tired. Also a bit late. In my location, it's uh, well. It's not that late. It's it's ten and a half p.m. And I think uh, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. All the basic parts are good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna tweak the shape a little bit more just to match the reference more. But for two hours, uh, I was I was good. Uh, again, thank you guys for. Uh, joining the stream I'll be adding more tutorials I will uh, share as much uh, knowledge as, as I can and uh, hopefully you'll benefit from these live stream uh, videos and see you on the next one hopefully tomorrow well it's daily hopefully alright then take care take care everyone <laughs>